Good afternoon and welcome back to another ironic introduction to another video. Today we have another update from Kabam, this time about an Alliance Quest mid-season map uh, rewards and glory store update. So that said, uh, if you don't want to listen to me tell you about the post, feel free to always use the link to the forum in the description below. There will also be timestamps to my thoughts and opinions, as well as specifically the rewards update and the glory store update because I know uh, for most people, that's really what they're concerned about. That said, the post is as follows. Summoners, on November 15th, we're introducing optional modifiers to Alliance Quest, but that's not the only update. In addition to AQ modifiers and honor rewards, we've refreshed many bosses and local nodes for maps 3 through 7, refreshed AQ rank rewards, and given the glory store an update. Check out the details below. Alliance Quest map updates. We saw map 3 swapping out Hulkbuster mini boss for Gamora. Also, some new local buffs. Section 1 will have um, ISO infused 200% health, enhanced special 1. Section 2 will have 150% champion boost, to, uh, 200 health percent boost and enhanced special one and fury i don't know what the current ones are but that's what it is now uh just for the mini bosses for map four the mini boss is being swapped out for a deadpool uh from the current ronin uh and then we will see section one having that health boost that champ boost and changing wins and enhanced crits uh, not sure what those are uh, section 2 will have champ boost, health boost, renewed Viger, changing winds, and enhanced crits. Uh, map 5 will have uh, the Morningstar boss changed out for Red Skull, and we'll see champ boost, health boost, two, uh, special 2 biased, and kinetic transference. Uh, and then ch section 2 will have champ boost, health boost, special 2 bias, kinetic transference, and stun immunity. Map 6 will swap out the Mephisto mini boss for Symbiote Supreme. Uh, we will instead see 300% champ boost, 200% redoubled uh, health, redoubled determination, 3 power... Uh, redoubled determination, 3 comma, power drain kinetic uh, transference, 3. Section 2, they really need to put commas in here. Section 2 will have 300% champ boost, 300% health, redouble determination 3, power drain, kinetic transference 3, and pilfer regeneration 3. And then map 7, uh, they're adding a new mini boss, Annihilus. Uh, so this will have 300% uh, champ boost, 200% health aggression, armor sadist, and soft guard. And then section 2 will have 300% champ boost, 300% health aggression, armor sadist. Soft Guard and Opportunist. Additionally, the Alliance Quest modifiers and honor rewards are new. They're an optional addition to Alliance Quest, and they will allow alliances to fine-tune their difficulty and add extra challenge in exchange for honor rewards and bonus points. Read all about them in this previous post here. We discussed that earlier. Uh, as well as they have a brand new post detailing the amount of points and how you can earn them here. Uh, additionally, updated rank rewards. So here we see the rank rewards are vastly different. So I will pause here at the top for 1 through 800. And that's how long you get. Then I will pause here uh, towards the bottom for 1200 to uh, 2600. 2600. So that said, that's your pause. Feel free to you know use the link in the uh, description if you want to analyze that. We'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, we've bumped up the amount of fragments you can receive for many of our rarer catalysts. Uh, you'll notice that the glory crystal has been removed. We've increased the amount of fragments of a specific tier 4 CC that you can purchase daily and reduced the cost of the greater glory crystal. After these changes, the original glory crystal didn't make sense to include anymore. Uh, I have opinions on that. And here are the updated glory stores. Uh, occasionally, I will show you a spreadsheet for that in a moment. And all of these updates will be live on November 15th. So that said, uh, let's jump straight into my thoughts and opinions. Uh, so I will have a previous timestamp for those of you who only care about the rewards. But first, I want to talk about uh, everything else. So first, I love the idea of optional modifiers for Alliance Quest. I think that making Alliance Quest interesting slash more challenging can really fine tune like the difference between, you know, it's not going to be just, oh, everybody's pushing six, five map sixes. It could be, you know, some people ranking up higher uh, just by pushing more map fives. But I don't know if that actually translates to higher Alliance Quest rank or just um, honor points. So I really need to delve into that and then I'll address it later. Uh, but that said, I think these mini bosses, for the most part, are for the better. Uh, this Deadpool for Ronin, I don't fully understand. Uh, I feel like Ronin was a fine mini boss, but hey, it adds a little bit of variety there. I love this Hulkbuster for Gamora, because uh, Gamora's special 2 can be easily evaded, uh, and Hulkbuster special 2 is one you kind of have to eat block damage, so for people pushing map 3, uh, that is roughly an easier boss, so long as you're properly baiting out those specials. 
I love that they're swapping out Morningstar for Red Skull. I didn't mind Morningstar as a boss. I just hated that my Omega Red was virtually useless due to the enhanced bleed. Uh, Red Skull's not the absolute worst. A stun immune Red Skull is going to be a little bit frustrating, but overall here, I think that uh, for the amount of people that bring like Blade into Alliance War, etc., I don't think this is going to be a bad thing, um, but sticking on that stun immunity uh, is more so just a frustration than anything else. Uh, map 6, I don't have a lot of experience on, but for the most part, I'm going to say uh, changing out Mephisto for Symbiote Supreme. I think most people can get behind that kind of um, a mini boss change. Not that Mephisto is frustrating, just that Symbiote Supreme is a lot less so. Uh, and then finally, adding Annihilus to map 7. It doesn't say swapping out, so I think map 7 is just getting harder, uh, which is something that people who are running map 7 right now might be frustrated by but for the most part there wasn't like much of a difference between map 7 and map 6 uh, so seeing that difference here in difficulty I think uh, is going to mean a lot at least in the higher ladder kind of differentiating between a lot of the alliances um, but it might also just end up being you know for the higher tier alliance just making it more frustrating than it already is that said, uh, these updated rank rewards, unfortunately, I can't like analyze them at all uh, because it's not like they've told us any kind of comparison. And with Alliance Quest being down now, I have no way of addressing these. So if you uh, have the ability to analyze these or can tell me the difference between these, I would absolutely love to hear it because I know my Alliance fell in this range here, this 1200 to 1700 range. And I know just off experience that I'm pretty sure the amount of glory we got this was the same. Um, I think as far as tier four class catalysts, we're getting like not much more. Uh, I think that essentially it's just changing from a glory crystal to um, tier four CC, unless they're including this in the form of a glory crystal, which doesn't make any sense to me. I think it is a small improvement in tier two alpha and tier five basic, but it's definitely the same quantity of tier five, uh, tier four basic. So overall, I'm kind of like looking at these rewards and I'm like, I, I don't see the difference, kabam. So uh, if anyone does have those differences, please, please, please uh, include them in the comments or something because I would love to know uh, as I don't have like any past data to go off of or analyze. Uh, but for the Glory Store update, I do have uh, that. And so the Glory Store update is fairly simple. Uh, consumables, we saw no change. Tier 1 to tier 3 class catalyst we saw no change tier 1 alpha we saw no change for the tier 4 basics we saw these drop in price they are now a hundred cheaper at each interval uh, so they were previously 400 and now they will be uh, 300 for that first one uh, and then uh, 330 for that second one 360 for the, th the third one uh, so that's overall just a nice feeling for the tier 4 class catalyst, uh, the specific ones, this is a really nice change. Essentially, they've doubled the value. Uh, so it's still the same cost, but you're getting twice as much. This essentially is replacing what the glory crystal was previously, because uh, the glory crystal, I believe, gave you 3,600 or so uh, for a little bit more than what this is. So now you're essentially you can pick up a specific type of class catalyst um, for less than what you were getting on a glory crystal, which has the same amount of catalyst in it. So uh, this is actually a really nice change. And then the Greater Glory Crystal is a hundred and fifty cheaper, so these are still going to be your value buys. These are still going to be your targeted buys. Uh, but this overall just gives players like that that balance, right? This is going to really really help people who are fishing for just a little bit more of a specific class, or maybe they are only fishing for one class, so they just buy these every week uh, and wait around. But more importantly, it gives you that incentive to actually like check in um, on proper days. The Tier Two Alpha is a hundred cheaper, and then the Tier Five Basic I had to normal the value because uh, previously you were getting 900 tier 5 basic for 12 1280 uh, glory kind of tricky to compare when they changed it to 2250 tier 5 basic for 900 glory uh, so I just normalized it to the you know amount of tier 5 basic per one glory so that first one is was 1.4 tier 5 basics per one glory and it is now moving up to two and a half per uh one glory and that's an overall pretty good shift uh that's almost double not quite uh it's like a 70 percent increase but hey that's a pretty solid increase especially when you think about it incrementally over time uh so that said those are the updates i'm gonna go ahead and say this is pretty good i think that glory store updates considering that they are on a weekly basis 
you know, it needs to be incremental changes, and these are fairly incremental changes. I think for me, the biggest value here is obviously in the uh, the higher tier rewards, but if there's anything I had to isolate as like something I'm actually like really excited about, it's the tier four class catalyst and the greater glory crystals price. Um, I think that for a lot of the mid to upper mid tier players, tier four class catalysts uh, become a frustration. And I think seeing specific tier four class catalysts have a higher value in the game is going to be really, really nice because I know personally uh, there are times when there's a specific class I need. Uh, and, you know, even at an overall expense, uh, I would rather have, you know, the choice rather than a random roll. So that said, let me know what you guys think. I'll put the proper timestamps in the description below, and I will talk to you all later.